right, I have officially made it to Universal Studios Japan. I'm in their city walk right now. And it is small, like compact. But I like it. Just got off the train over there. So yeah, another bucket list park. Checked off my list. It's funny is that uh, I've been to uh, every Disney park around the world, but this is going to be my very first Universal Park outside of uh, Florida. So that's going to be fun. And here it is. There's Hollywood Dream. Interesting, I thought the center of Medallion would be... Uh, <clears throat> I thought, I thought the center medallion would have uh, the new parade, No Limit. So that's interesting. I guess it's back to Mario. Oh, there's a... Uh, Hogwarts. So one interesting thing about Universal is that the arches are out here. Between, like, so this is like the bus drop-off area, I think. The right is City Walk, and the globe is like right in between. Unlike Florida, so there's going to be a lot of Florida comparisons. That's all I have to compare to. It's so weird seeing that giant bridge right there. Also, I am extremely jet lagged. Uh, and I am running on like zero sleep. I uh, just got off a red eye from Hong Kong, like literally an hour and a half ago. So yeah, not going to be, this is, this is going to suck. Uh, so I went to Ocean Park yesterday and then right after Ocean Park I went to the airport and uh, came straight here from the airport. So yeah, super sleepy. I also stopped by at 7-Eleven and there's another, there's a Lawson in City Walk. Get some uh, green tea. So hopefully the caffeine will help. But yeah, Universal here I am. So one cool thing about uh, their entrance area, just like um, Tokyo Disneyland, is that they have a covered like Main Street area or Hollywood area. Um, oh, one thing to note, at bag check, uh, they do not allow drinks of uh, anything, anything bigger than half a liter in a bottle. So don't bring it. Yeah. Also, one funny thing. My... Uh, uh, my phone auto-connected to their Wi-Fi. Because I guess uh, they use the same Wi-Fi as uh, Florida. So that's awesome. Well, they put a lot of sand in that track. It's pretty quiet. That's a quiet B&M. But anyway, yeah. So, um... I hear a little rattle too. But yeah, definitely... Um... Yeah, don't bring a what's it called uh oh my gosh i am overwhelmed right now new park anyway yeah don't bring anything bigger than 500 milliliters or wait yeah half a milli half a liter uh don't do that but we're here i don't know what i'm gonna do first i do have a uh, express today i have the four four like roller coaster express pass thing so I'll be doing all that. Um, I think my first express time is at like 11.50. And I have a couple that are like, you can use whenever. So I'm just gonna wander around. I may get a power up band or something, I don't know. But right, let's go. So this is their 4D theater here. So today they're playing uh, Jujutsu Kaisen 4D. Uh, I've heard it's good, I mean, I've. It's been a while since I've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, the movie in the season one. But yeah, I'm excited. I don't remember anyone's names. <laughs> I think the main character is Itadori. But yeah. Wow, this is weird. This is really weird how like bare these sound stages are. Oh my gosh. It's not like Florida's Universal where it's like they have stuff on it. And this is huge. Like, I didn't realize how big this walkway is from the, the entrance all the way back to the New York facade. Oh, they have Terminator up there. But I'm not sure if they're still doing Terminator right now. So here to the left is Space Fantasy. 
that's uh, their spinning coaster, but right now they have a VR overlay, I believe. Uh, theme to uh, Doraemon. I think that's how you pronounce it. I grew up watching him when I was a kid, but I watched like a Cantonese dub. But yeah. Oh, there's Hollywood Dream, and in the back is Flying Dinosaur. But yeah, this thing has terrible capacity. Right now it's a 70 minute wait, which is apparently not that bad. Singles is 60 minutes over there. Yeah, because this thing gets like triple digit weights a lot of the time. So is this Terminator? Okay, Terminator's closed. Yeah, apparently, I think this thing hasn't been, Terminator hasn't been open since like COVID time. Before COVID. Wow, this is so weird. It's so open here. Like, this is a trek to get out here. To the back of New York Street. From the main entrance. I don't know what's down there. So instead of Mummy, they have Spider-Man back there. I think it's the exact same ride. So I wonder, I wonder if they have a Sting Alley here. I need to go check. But there's so much space here. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh man, Flying Dinosaur looks incredible. I do have Express for Flying Dinosaur as well, later today. Oh, looks like they're doing a sing show. They're doing a TikTok dance. No way! They have a titty, titty cat club here. Which means they have the... Investigations over here. Okay, this is... They named it something else. I forgot the name of the guy in the Horror Nights house, but it's not that name. So his name, the investigator here is named something else, but the Kitty Cat Club's here. Oh, is that Sting Alley? Oh, I think they're actually doing some real filming there. Look. In Sting Alley. Okay, so they have a Spy X family here uh, game. So the problem with that is that it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. But the issue is it's all in Japanese, so it's not English friendly. So you're, if you don't know Japanese, you're not going to know how to play this game. But from doing some research, it looks like they have like a uh, little show in, I think, the Backdraft Theater. Where they have a, uh, what's it called? Like a little mini show with like uh, the, the mom and the dad and Anya. So yeah, oh, here is Spider-Man. I'll see him later. So I'm here for two days. Uh, today is the only good day. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be raining almost all day, so I don't know how much I can, I can do. But the good thing is most of my express passes for tomorrow are mostly indoor rides. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to go get a power-up van. Oh, no way. I think that guy's name is... Uh, the statue is uh, Luke Wasserman. I didn't realize they have him here too. I think there's a plaque, but it's missing a plaque here. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yep, Super Nintendo World's over there. I was going the wrong way. Uh, yeah. So it looks like Sing on tour is down for refurb from 410 to 423. And right now it is 4.14 uh, in terms of like the date, not time. <laughs> so that's down. Whoa, Mel's looks weird. So the normal Mel's look fine, but that little diner area, the steam liner area looks cool. Oh my gosh. It like, it just doesn't feel real. Oh, so here's the rock and roll show. I think that's Beetlejuice instead of the horror makeup. I do have to say, the uh, Hollywood Dream does look, feel, like, look shorter than it does from what I've seen it. Oh, I think there was a stand here that interested me. Somewhere around here. 
I don't know. I don't know what this is either. What is this? Oh, okay. Time entry ticket. Let's do it. Okay, so here is where you get your time ticket for Super, Mar Super Nintendo World. And I just did it. You have to make sure you scan everyone's park ticket at the same time before you do it. I don't know why the app was saying that it couldn't do that. They weren't distributing right now. Unless it's still the case and like you could get one for later. And like right now you just go in. I don't know. But I'm gonna head over there now to see. But right now I got the time ticket for a 410. And it looks like that's not gonna interfere with my uh, express passes. But yeah. I am excited to be here. I'm gonna see if I can try to get a ride on uh, Koopa's Ch Challenge, which is a uh, Mario Kart ride. Just so I can get the hang of it before I use my express on it tomorrow. So, because I've heard like, if you ride it once, you'll need to ride it maybe again, just to get the hang of it. So over here is Jaws. Right in front of me. Oh, this is incredible. So one thing that kind of bugs me about this are all the nets here by Flying Dinosaur. Wow, this pretzel looks a, lot, looks a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it'd be way bigger. Like this is almost like Manta size. Maybe a bit bigger because it's, it goes underground, not like Manta. But yeah, this, uh, this thing, uh, the nets are kind of in the way, which kind of sucks for the photo op. But it's not needed because they wand you apparently like you have to go through like they make sure you don't have anything in your pocket before you ride which makes the nets kind of redundant unfortunately supposedly at least that's what i've seen from research not in real person but yeah oh dang here i got someone here oh this is beautiful Anyway, oh, I do want to see Waterworld. Shoot, that's 11 the next show. Uh, that might be an issue because I think I have a. Uh, I think I may have a uh, express pass around that time. Is it going on now? I thought I heard maybe like gunshots or something. I am excited for Waterworld because I haven't seen it. Yeah, my. I have 11.50 Express all the way across the park, so I don't know if I would make it. Okay, so they are doing the timed entry code. I want to see if I get a power-up band at the front. Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this is one thing I like. Uh, so instead of... It looks like it's happening here. Instead of uh, walking on the right, in Japan, everyone walks on the left. Well, they you tend to walk on the left. Oh, is this cool? You can see the points going up as you're getting closer and closer. I'm hoping they're not scanning people up here. Okay, it looks like they're scanning people up here. Dang, okay, never mind. I wanted to see if I could get a uh, power-up band here, but I can't. Because I think there was a, they sell it at the entrance of the land. But it looks like they're checking right before you get to the entrance of the land. Well, I'm gonna go to uh, what's it called, uh, Wizarding World right now because I do have Express for a uh, uh, flying unicorn uh, or uh, what's it called, Hippogriff. But the problem is it's for tomorrow and it's scheduled to rain almost all day tomorrow. So I'm gonna ask, I use my Google Translate app, app to ask if it is going to open in the, if it still operates in the rain. And if it doesn't, I might as well get on it now to get the credit today, as opposed to like, you know, potentially missing it tomorrow because of the rain. This is cool. So they have all the stones out here. And then you basically have to walk through like the forbidden forest to get to a wizarding world here. Really immerses you in the land. Here it is. Wizarding World East. Or Far East, I guess. Man, I've been 
been to Hogsmeade so many times in Ireland, but this one just hits differently. And I have to do the obligatory. Oh no, there's no uh, Hagrid's here on the right. So this is they have a uh, the magical animal that goes. Through. That's so cool. And here is uh, some of the wand magic. I do, I do wish I brought my wand. I forgot to bring it. Uh, I'm curious to see if uh, the Florida wands work here. Who knows? Anyway, let's go take a look at uh, what's it called? Not flying unicorn. Hagrid's. Uh, Hippogriff, there we go. <laughs> oh, there is a Niffler. Gotta see the Niffler. Man, this is awesome. The fact that they have like so many animals here, that is a thing that, I think it's only exclusive here. I'm not sure if Beijing does it. Uh, oh, I think that's Ollivanders. So they moved Ollivanders to the left side over here. And it's a 15 minute wait. Oh, and they moved that stand here. Oh, that's a great idea. So this stand is out of the way. That's great. I like it. Yeah, because this stand is usually over there where Ollivanders is. So it's always in the way. And just like Florida, you can see the exposed show building to the right and can you see it to the left? Oh, you can't see it to the left, that's nice. Also, unlike Florida, they have the Black Lake here for a photo op. And you know for sure I'm going to get a photo here. <laughs> They probably dyed this lake too, because this is really black. <laughs> it really is black. Okay, so it looks like uh, Hippogriff is just like Florida, where it, I believe it's like Florida. So it does operate in the rain, but in light rain. So if it's a heavy rain, it will not operate. So that's good to know. I'm going to, I'll come back to it. Uh, if I have time, I'll do it for standby, even though I have express park tomorrow. Even though I have express for it tomorrow, I'll come back to it. Um, but otherwise, uh, I may risk risk it tomorrow. We'll see how much I get done today. Because right now it's a 15 minute wait. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do a 15 minute wait. May get a butterbeer though. I've had like, I think 175 butterbeers in my life. So uh, I'm interested to see how they, this butterbeer compares to Florida's. And here is my early lunch. I got uh, roast beef, potatoes. I can't remember what, what that pastry is. Their butterbeer is tiny compared to Florida's. And I think they're, it's been a while since I've had a regular butterbeer. But the, uh, the actual butterbeer itself inside looks like more see-through, translucent, you know. So we'll try that out. It's also smaller. And unfortunately, I asked one of the team members here and they said they don't have a <clears throat> frozen butterbeer here, unfortunately. But I had to take advantage of this view with my food. Can't be beat. So just went to uh, the bathrooms here. Moni Myrtle speaks Japanese. There is more theming in there. Oh, sure. I forgot to look at the stalls to see if they're Japanese toilets. 
and I feel like the boys and girls are swapped. I want to say in uh, Florida, the boys are on the right and the girls on the left. I don't know. Also, uh, after this was my uh, 170th, 76th Butterbeer, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Universal, I mean uh, Tokyo edition, and it was different. I feel like it wasn't as sweet here. Definitely smaller portions. And the foam had a different taste to it. It's not bad, it just felt, it tasted different. But yeah. And uh, yeah, and unfortunately, they don't have frozen butterbeer here. And that's what's killing me. Because I've had frozen, I've had way more frozen than regular. And that's all I get. That's just pretty funny. I bet, you, I bet these guys love uh, when people speak English to them. Oh my goodness, it's a pygmy puff. See, I love this, how they have all the animals in the streets here. I wish we had that in Georgia. I mean, in uh, Florida. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. So like holy crap, um, Jaws was incredible. Uh, last time I did this was on closing day back in uh, Florida and it was back in 2012 so it's been like 11 years since I've been on Jaws and holy crap I miss this ride so much. <laughs> this was my favorite, oh my gosh. Um, there were a couple of differences. Uh, one really funny thing is when we were in the shed scene, uh, they when when like the shark was bursting through the walls, uh, our team member was like shining a light and kind of like shining in a circle, like a strobe light kind of thing. But yeah, this thing was incredible. One of my favorites. Um, gosh, animatronic. Everything was working. I do the fire across the water was not working though. I wasn't sure if that's a thing here, but in Florida it goes across the water. But yeah. Incredible. I love it. I want to ride this again. But yeah, uh, a, a tip. Single rider was a walk-on. Uh, so I highly recommend single rider. But the only issue with single rider is that you are guaranteed to sit on the right side. Um, so that's all you're going to sit is on the right side of the ship. But yeah, incredible. Uh, I also feel like the gunshots for the grenade launcher. Oh, so, so the guns they use here aren't grenade launchers. They look like shotguns instead. But when they shoot, the gun blast was a little delayed. Like, you see the shot hit the water first, then you hear the gunshot. But yeah, this, I, I, I need to ride this again. This thing is incredible. I absolutely love this ride. And I miss it so much. Like, I was almost in tears riding this thing. One of my favorite rides. And it sucks that it's closed in Florida. I oh, love this ride so much. So there are a couple of differences, like they're more like extra props and stuff scattered throughout the back over there. But yeah, definitely, I love this ride. <laughs> Come on. I still can't believe I'm here. Seriously, a bucket list park. Like a mess of B&M track all over us. Let's see what the singles is for uh, Flying Dino. It's a shame this place is closed. <clears throat> okay, so this is the regular Jurassic Park the ride instead of River Adventure. Oh, they got singles. Ooh, maybe I'll do singles. I'll do singles. This is cool. So in the exit gift shop of uh, Jurassic Park Arrive, we have a little animatronic raptor here. This guy reminds me of a Doc Ondar in uh, Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. 
also Jurassic Park the ride. Uh, great ride. There, the first Ultra Store was not working, unfortunately. There were a couple things uh, that were weird, like some of the Raptors, just like Florida's, that looked like someone broke their necks. Uh, it's cool because this is a mirror image of ours in Florida. Uh, it does look fresher, like the paint around the uh, Raptor containment area looks fresher. Uh, the entry gate into Jurassic Park uh, Florida looks has the Jurassic Park logo on the top, like the T-Rex. Here, they have a... Uh, Jurassic Park like what's it called the, the sign you know it just, just says Jurassic Park instead of having just the logo uh, there are a couple new things instead of like the three claw mark scratches on the wall that Florida has they have some like door that like shakes a little bit so it looks like something's trying to break through you don't get too wet on this thing either I don't know about the front seat but definitely, okay, yeah, the front seat, look, you, they, the people in the front look like they got drenched. Yeah. But in like the, I was the second to last row on the left. I, it was barely a spritzing. But yeah, uh, great ride. Uh, also the, I forgot the name, the Dilophosaurus. I think those, those are the ones that like spray water at you and have like the things that go around their necks that flare out. Uh, those things were not, there was two, one like, you see in the other one on your left and it didn't spray water at you unlike Florida so very interesting I was expecting it to spray water I had like my hand out just to, just to catch the water make sure it doesn't spray my face so that was interesting but yeah this is still, still a solid ride good ride I enjoyed it uh, also I did single riders for this again uh, if you do singles it is a guaranteed left side of the seat uh, left side of the boat that you're gonna get on Yeah, so if you ride this, you're going to guarantee left side boat ride. Also, a lot of guests don't understand, like, what to do with their bags. Uh, so the team members have issues with, like, trying to t explain to them what to do with their bags, causing in a lot of empty roads just like that boat. So I feel for them, because uh, there are a lot of people who, like, don't speak Japanese or English, so it's like, you don't know what language to actually speak to the guests to. So... That was unfortunate. But yeah, otherwise, very fun ride. It's a good dispatch. Usually this thing has a terrible get dispatches. Anyway, onward, let's go see what else this park has to offer. Oh, also, uh, one funny thing is, I'm wearing my uh, Velocicoaster shirt. Uh, it's an opening year Velocicoaster shirt. And some of the team members are pointing it out, being like, oh, Orlando, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Or they'd be like, oh, blue, kawaii, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she is kawaii. But yeah, it's awesome. Very fun here. I was surprised a lot more pe uh, team members recognize it here. Like, I remember I wore like a Tower of Terror shirt that in the, uh, it was, granted, it was just the Hollywood Tower Hotel logo, but only one cast member recognized it in uh, Disney Sea. So I was surprised how many cast members are or team members are recognizing it here. Let's see the wait time. Okay, singles is 40 minutes and regular is 85. Singles is 40 is not too bad. I do have Express for this today, so I'm not sure what I should use it on. Oh yeah, I just realized my very first ride here at uh, Universal Japan was Jaws, and I am perfectly okay with that. I am satisfied with that being my very first universal ride here. Anyway, that bridge just looks so cool. I mean, like, it does kind of ruin it a little bit, but I don't think Universal will really do much about this bridge being there. So now we're in the San Francisco area, so there's backdraft. 
So it looks like where um, the exit to uh, Fast and Furious is, is a, uh, or to the left of it, is a uh, Chinese styled restaurant. Yeah, so they have a Conan thing here. They take the Conan. I'm not familiar with that property, I've never seen that show. Oh wow, there are a lot of team members out here with menus. Oh, it's a mystery restaurant. Interesting. That's cool. So it looks like they have like a uh, Detective Conan mystery restaurant. So here's the Spy X family uh, stand here. So they have uh, her uh, Chimera bun. <laughs> Level 10 billion curry bun. <laughs> I love that name. Anya's churro. It's raspberry flavor. I love it. <clears throat> so this is a Spy X family here. Attraction sort of thing where you have to uh, get a... Uh, what's it called? Do the thing. And it just really stinks because I really want to see it. But the problem is I don't speak Japanese. And that's what kills me. Oh, it's a shame Shea Akutraz is closed. Oh, it's called Wharf Cafe here. And looks like here... Oh! Oh, it's called Happiness Cafe here. This was this is Richter's in uh, Florida. But I guess they don't have a uh, they don't have a uh, earthquake right here. So, and here is their Minions area. So they have Minion Mayhem down there and a flat ride. Anyway, I'm gonna start making my way over to uh, the other thing, uh, my Fast Pass or Express. So this is the Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, what's it called, uh, table service restaurant. I do want to eat here sometime. So yeah, this is the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, restaurant. I do want to eat here, uh, but right now it's good weather. So tomorrow is going to rain. So I think tomorrow will be a good time to eat here. Uh, I might try for, I don't know if I want lunch or dinner tomorrow, especially because of the rain. Uh, it is a table service restaurant. So I'm excited for that. And I think you get to see like a uh, Gojo, which is one of the uh, characters in the show. A uh, basically a life-size like statue of him. So you can take a photo with him, which is kind of neat. So this is Louis. This place gets really popular because it's like pizza. Uh, here's pretty good, but I mean, coming from the States, I don't know how good the pizza is here compared to the state side pizza. I don't know what this is. What is this? I guess it's like some dancing show. Oh, No Limit Street Festival, that's what it is. Okay, I need to start heading over to my, uh, what's it called, uh, Express. Here's that Spider-Man photo op here. It's kind of interesting. They block off Sting Alley so you can't walk all the way through. But still, pretty cool. <clears throat> Surprisingly, for a Friday, it doesn't seem too bad with the wait times. Like, I was expecting, like, crazy wait times, like, triple-digit wait times. But so far, it's, like, been pretty upper double-digit wait times. That's fitting it. So here's Spider-Man. I don't know if this has a single rider. It might. But yeah, definitely, single rider is way to go here. I think they have more single rider ri lines here than they do at uh, Disney in uh, Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah, this Spider-Man's a 15-minute single wait time. Anyway, let's go get over there and get ready for my express. So this was a weird ride. What sucks is, uh, for the Doramon, they are seating half capacity, which kind of stinks. Because you have to face forward when you're doing VR. And these are the VR goggles. Yeah, so these are the VR goggles. This is pretty good. Good VR. Uh, probably one of the better ones I've been on. I didn't know anything about the track layout though. But it's pretty good. Okay, so yeah, the Space Fantasy slash the Doramon VR coaster. Uh, I liked it, but probably one of the better VR coasters out there. I really enjoyed it. One thing that kind of sucks is that you have to uh, come and get a uh, walker for your bags and stuff like that. 
and one of the issues is you have to use 100 yen to get it. And to get it, you, uh, I mean, you get the 100 yen back. So what sucks is that when I was here, I actually did not have a change, or I needed change. So here is the 100 yen you get back. But what stinks is that you have to get a... Now I have change, and like, I don't like coins, which kind of sucks. That's why I wish they like did a park ticket or something like that. So this ride, it was good, but not great. What sucked is their capacity was ha cut in half, because no one could ride this roller coaster backwards with VR. Um, but everything else was crisp. I didn't know what was going on. Like we were in the sky. Like the pre-show looked like we were flying in like kind of like a what's it called? Bioshock Infinite, where you go up into the sky and then you get on like a car, like one of these things, and you're going around. And these like robots that look like Eve from uh, Wall-E chased us around. We went underwater at one point. Um, then I forgot where we went, and we ended up in like Dormans, like or this kid's house area in the backyard, and all of him and all his friends were there. And then they like shrunk us and you know, and then they made us bigger again, yeah, but yeah. It's a fun ride, it was a good, it was, the VR was very well done. But yeah, this thing, I, it's tough, like if you don't know English or Japanese, it's tough to figure out what's going on. And like how to put on the VR goggles and everything, it's just like, yeah, it's tough. But they got a streamline, like for a VR coaster, that was actually really well done in terms of their uh, the capacity and everything like they did they did the best they could. So right outside uh, the Doraemon coaster in Jujutsu Kaisen is this little area. I don't know what this is, but it looks like just kind of like a bunch of games and stuff like that for kids to play. This is very like old school Universal stuff. I have no idea what they did. This is. So it's just like a bunch of games for kids to play and parents can like soak up AC. Very weird. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. I like it though. <laughs>
I just finished Waterworld for the first time and holy crap, this show is incredible. Like, wow. <laughs> that looks awesome. Like these boats going around, the pyro, the stunts, like the use of zip lines and everything. Holy crap. I don't know if I like this or Born better though. Born Stuntacular. That's really, really tough. The plane is incredible. That was like an incredible scene. This was a oh, incredible show. I, I I understand why this is in like every single Universal Park except for Florida. It's that good. And I love the cast. The team members here are like really funny. Like they do like funny things and everything. But yeah, great show. I'm debating if I want to see it again. I don't know. <laughs> it was that good. But man.
the best parade I have ever seen. It is so much fun. Like, holy crap. I absolutely love this parade. And you get a souvenir. Like, holy crap. This is a really good one. Oh, and this is the Mario part. Limit Parade was incredible. It is so much fun. Man, it really gave me Block Party Bash vibes, but better. It's just like, you got the Pokemon float, you got the Mario Kart float, and then all the other floats in the beginning that <laughs> not many people, too much, too many people really care about. Like, they've got a Despicable Me float, uh, I think Elmo, like Sesame Street float. They've got like a Sing. Like, holy crap, like Hello Kitty, like, so much fun. And the fact that, like, they let you get into the street. The confetti is themed to each float, like, thing. They have, like, themed confetti. But holy crap, that was so much fun. It might be one of my favorite parades ever. It's really tough between that and the Universal Mardi Gras parade. I'm not sure if this No Limit parade is a permanent parade or not. It might be a temporary one, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, also, I love this. Be where the placement of the Universal Globe is because it's like directly in front. So like as you're walking out or walking towards the exit, you see the globe just right there. That, I, I like that. I like how they did that. That's awesome. It's not like a little off the side. They did a good job with that. Wow, it hit the block brakes hard. Anyway. In line for Express at Flying Dinosaur. The weight doesn't look that bad. From the photos I've seen, I've seen way worse. 
Wait, this grass park. River Ledger. It looks like we have to empty everything out of our pockets, so... Looks like none of you guys come with me. Bye-bye. Oh, never mind. That was express. I mean, uh, single. I don't know where Merge is, but singles doesn't look that bad. I don't know where this goes. This surprisingly doesn't look that bad. The photos I've seen were worth. Alright, just got off a of flying dinosaur. A very anticipated ride. This thing had so much hype and it was a little overhyped for me. Like it's a good ride, but it's not like, wow, I can cut them off like, wow. Um, like everyone else is saying. It is fun. Their dispatches are pretty, pretty good. But the issue I have with this ride is that the forces I was expecting more from the reviews I've read. Unfortunately, those reviews were like praising this thing, saying it might be one of the best B&M coasters in the world. You know, it's not. It's a little rattly at parts, especially like right before the dive loop of the pretzel roll. Got a little rattle to it. Also, I was extremely lucky to get the back row. I've heard the back row is the best. So I was very happy. So I basically sat in the best row this thing has to offer. The airtime coming up to drop is good, but I was expecting more airtime. Like, it's a good pop, but it's not like ejector. It wasn't... So the airtime in the back row is not even like ejector all the way down. It was just a nice float. You know, nothing to, to write home about. Overall, it is a very good ride. But it's not something I'll be like... I wouldn't book a trip out here just to get to ride this thing. You know, to be honest, I'd rather like do other stuff. Like Jaws, I'd rather ride Jaws than this. So this is a gummy Coca-Cola flavor popcorn. And holy crap, this thing is so good. It tastes just like those gummy Coca-Cola candies. It is incredible. Probably one of the best tasting popcorns I've had. Yeah, definitely. This was so good. And it's only 550 yen.
Got my ticket here and oh, this is the line for power up bands. Okay, I need to get in. I think there's another place to get it up here. Okay, I, I'm going to this one. This one I think everyone's going to go to. I think this one might be a shorter line. I'm hoping that is the line for people taking photos and not buying power up bands. Also, it's really funny hearing <laughs> jaws going off. I'm hoping this is not the power up band line. <laughs> Gosh, the team members here are so much fun. Uh, the music, oh my goodness. This is amazing. Oh, this was the way to go. Just the way to go. This line, much shorter. <laughs> All right, that was a good hack. That stand, first stand to get power up bands is always mob. So I always go back here because everyone thinks that this might be the line, but it's actually people taking photos. But I got my second anniversary power up band Mario gold one so let us go This is overwhelming. There is so much going on right now. The, the level change here is crazy. The fact that there's just multiple levels. I wasn't expecting this. This is insane. Like, holy crap. Oh, there's a pigment. So the hidden pigment, pigment, right there. Front of plant. Oh my gosh, Toad is freaking adorable. And here he's called Pinocchio. Not Toad here. <laughs> not Pinocchio. That's why the uh, the guy when I was buying him power up band, he was. Oh, I think Mario's about to come out. Yep, there he is. Uh, Pinocchio. Uh, the power, guy who was selling power up bands was like, "What?" <laughs> when I was like, "Toad, I want a Toad one." I love it.
My first punch. So the Yoshi ride has an extended queue way out here, like in this backstage area. This really reminds me of a HHN temporary backstage queues that they have. The fans are off, which is nice because it's kind of chilly. It's like the low 70s. And here's the normal queue for Yoshi. It's really warm in here, jeez. The outside was a little chilly. That was weird. It looks like we're moving a lot more now. Or maybe we could see it better. When we were outside, it didn't seem like we were moving much. Or maybe we just got swamped with Express coming in. Which, that shouldn't be the case because Express is all time here. So when you get Express, certain rides, you ha have a random time to come back. And it generates it randomly, so you don't get to choose which kind of sticks. But there are a couple of rides that you could go anytime. This is where the new Donkey Kong roller coaster is going to be opening, I think, next year? Yeah, 2024. Yeah, because Epic is opening in uh, theirs in 25. So here's their normal gift shop. There's a restroom over here. here is currently exclusive to Tokyo, I mean uh, Osaka. So much here. Please. 
seriously sensory overload. There's just so much going on. the Donkey Kong coaster over there. Right behind the Yoshi ride. But this place is just crazy how much there is to look at. There's so much moving moving things. Like I am I could just sit here forever and just stare at all this stuff. Stare at Mount Painful. Turn around, look at all this. So cool. Oh so one thing I forgot to mention about flying dinosaur is that they don't wand you like for metal detection and stuff like that. They just really just look at your pockets to see this, if you have anything bulging out. Um, <laughs> what's another funny thing is if you think that your shoes might be loose uh, when you're shaking them around, they give you like a rubber band that will like go over your like go between like where your arches and that will like squeeze your <clears throat> your feet and your shoe so it, it won't it'll be less likely to fall out which I thought it was Hilarious. I've never seen that on a roller coaster before. Very cool. Very interesting. Anyway, I want to see if uh, the Discovery Center is open because I'm getting kind of hungry. <clears throat> I do want to try to hit up um, Hippogriff today if I can. Just because it is, uh, I want to try to get all the outdoor rides out of the way today since rain is on the forecast for all day tomorrow. So I can nail out all the indoor rides tomorrow instead. Do all the outdoor rides today, indoor rides tomorrow. Let's go eat. All right, deciding to do dinner early right now uh, while I wait for my Hollywood Dream Backdraft Express to come up. So I got a um, roast beef dish with uh, rice. That is a mango pudding. Uh, came with a cow piss, which is a like a sports drink that they're sort of no it's like a yogurt drink and a melon soda i hear good things about the melon soda so i'm excited to try this with the view oh crap i just realized flying dinosaur goes right over us that's awesome So this area right here kind of look I think this is their on-ride photo because it like lights up the track when it comes through. Also, holy crap, that roast beef dish was so good. Um, if I was a local, I would get that almost every day. Holy crap, it was that good. At least it fit my palate. Wow, that was good. Anyway, uh, the mango mousse was really good as well. Like everything I had here was incredible. I would definitely eat here again. And I'm glad I, I came here because it closed at seven. So I'm glad I uh, got to eat this instead of trying to fit another ride. And then miss eating out on this place because holy crap, this was good. so good. Wow, I am super satisfied right now. That food was so good. Anyway, um, one thing I do have to complain about about this park, their bathrooms are really small, it's, especially for the men's restrooms. Um, there are only like three or four urinals and like four like stalls. So if it's busy, it fills up. Also, I hate their hand washing system. Um, they have like three to four sinks, but only one hand dryer. Like, and it's like a, a crappy dryer. It's not even a good dryer. Like, a, you know, one of those like Dyson Airblades or like what's it called? The, the accelerator or whatever. So yeah, it sucks. So most of the time I just walk out with wet hands because I don't want to wait because someone else is drying their hands or like it just takes too long to dry my hands. <laughs> Jurassic Park's a 15 minute wait. It's starting to get a little chilly right now. To be honest, it's probably, be, it's probably like in the 60s right now. That's what it feels like. Looks like a flying dino is a 70 minute wait across, uh, straight across. 
Also, there are napkins here. I noticed this in Tokyo Disneyland as well, in Disney Sea. The napkins have like a uh, like a wax on it. You know, so it does not like it doesn't really absorb very well. You know, it just feels like you're wiping your hands with like wax paper. It's really weird. I guess that's just a thing in Japan. I'm not sure. But I know I really noticed it in Tokyo Disney Resort in here. I don't recall when I eat out in like previous years doing that. Granted, I haven't been this <laughs> I came straight here from uh, the airport, so maybe uh after my universal visit, I'll go eat out and see if the compare napkins. But yeah. Let's go to uh backdraft time. Wait, not backdraft. Backdrop. There we go. Yeah. Gonna head over to my uh, express. Cause I wanted to try riding Hollywood Dream backdrop first. Going backwards first. Because I don't really know, like, kind of know the layout, but not really. I have a general idea of what the layout's like. But I feel like I might like it better if I ride backwards first, not knowing what's coming up, as opposed to riding it forward. But we'll see. They have so much ET merch. Look at this. This is awesome. A, a giant ET. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this like a keychain? Okay, so it's like one of the coin purses. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. It's heavy. I have no idea what this is. I guess it's just like that. It's gonna be a picture piece. But oh my gosh, giant ET. Holy crap. Okay, I remember the private eye. Boris Schuster, that's his name. Living right across, or working right across from the Kitty Cat Club. Man, I should get my uh, HHN ticket. My HHN card taken away from me. <clears throat> that was pitiful. I couldn't remember Boris Schuster's name. A little uh, HHN lord for you. Anyway. I'm gonna go stop by a some merch shops first. So I got a couple minutes left before my backdrop express. And then I'll be doing the regular way right after. And I'm gonna try to squeeze in a uh, <clears throat> squeeze in a uh, not flying unicorn. I keep forgetting it. Hippogriff ride right before close. And that will uh, complete all the outdoor rides that I am interested in riding. <clears throat> so yeah. So I just did Hollywood Dream Backdrop, which is basically Hollywood Dream but backwards. And holy crap, that was awesome. Um, it, I mean, it's not like crazy amounts of airtime, but you get some, like going backwards, you don't expect it. Uh, there are a couple of like turns where I was like, whoa, this came out of nowhere and I get jerked over. It's so much fun, uh, especially if you don't know the layout. I'm kind of familiar with the layout, like in terms of where we're going, but like the order of elements and stuff like that, how many hills there are. That's all new to me, but it's still, it was a lot of fun going, doing backdrop. Um, which is weird because they do, uh, here they actually do, they wand you, make sure you don't have anything in your pocket, like metal in your pockets. But in Flying Dinosaur, they don't. So I'm assuming maybe because like Flying Dinosaur has more nets. I don't remember if there are any nets in the ride path here, but still, very fun ride. Here goes backdrop right now. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks because like, for every, uh, Basically for every three forward trains, there's only one backward train. So that line moves glacially uh, slow. It is a great ride though, it is, it's a lot of fun. I'm really glad I did it. It's so cool like going backwards up the lift though. So cool. It's really weird like going backwards with only like Oh, a B and M clamshell that one. But yeah, it's a, it's a really fun ride. I would try to. I think tomorrow I may try to rope drop this and do back drop again. Uh, I got the second row, by the way. I do want to see what the back row is like. But who knows? So 
So uh, tomorrow, I'm out, or to, uh, later today, I'm gonna try to come back and do the forward version. Use my express on that. So right now, I'm gonna go do a flying u unicorn. Get that out of the way. Also, it's raining a little bit, like sprinkling. So it's not bad. But yeah, that was such a fun ride. Actually, I really wish I could do it again, but not with an 80 minute wait time. It is really cool. You could, you could tell which train is the backdrop train because it's red while the other ones are all white. I do like the lighting package. The lighting package on the train looks great. But yeah, it's super smooth. Uh, not much rattle like Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia. Very good ride. So Flight of the Hippogriff is... Uh, posting a 50 minute wait, 5-0. And this is where the line starts, where I am. And it looks like it's just a straight shot up. I don't think there are any switchbacks up there. So uh, if that's the case, definitely not a 5-0 minute wait. I don't think they're running two trains either. I think it's just one. I could probably get done with this pretty quickly and maybe give them up the Jaws ride. I love that ride. Do like a Hagrid's hut over here. It's pretty big. Free to scale unlike the one in Orlando. Which is a bit small. So they have this thing here. Florida has this, where you see the things floating. But I think this is a wand magic area, which Florida does not have a wand magic thing in there. There are a lot of, there are way more wand magic things to do here than there are in Florida, or in Ho Florida's Hogsmeade. I'm surprised how many, and they're better here. Like that one, like the doors unlock over here. There was a there's fire that came out of that chimney over there, which is really cool. Uh, right behind flying, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hippogriff. There is a, uh, there's basically some flags showing all the, ca uh, the houses and they all like blew out like a ghost was going through. So that was really cool. Oh, so I don't know if I... Oh, uh, the bottle drinks here are actually pretty cheap. They range from what I could tell 250 yen to 200 yen. It's like not even a dollar. That's like not even two dollars. That's like pretty cheap for a theme park in the... Uh, right over there. Also, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but Yoshi, the Yoshi ride was good. Um, lost to see. Uh, on your lap bar, they have uh, three color egg buttons. And as you're going through the ride, you'll see random eggs that are colored. And you click, you uh, push which button corresponds to whatever color egg you see. So if you like, you see a blue egg, you push, push the blue bu egg button. So, yep. I don't know what happens if you get them all wrong or get some wrong or anything like that. But if you get them right, I think they do like your uh, lights, the eggs light, they'll do a dance. Yeah. Or by your laptop. It kind of like all lights up and everything. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do backdrop uh, just in case. I don't know if they close their lines early here, uh, especially for Express. I don't know. So I'm gonna knock that out of the way first and then probably just go marathon Jaws because I love Jaws that much. All right, just got off of the regular Hollywood dream and it was fun. Not as good as backdrop, but pretty good I I got more airtime that I was expecting like some of the reviews I've heard is like this thing's forceless there's a couple pops um, some of the long drawn out hills where you don't look like you'll get airtime like the ones going over the entrance um, it's curved differently to where 
when you uh, enter, I guess when you start going, evening out, and when you go from straight to going down, uh, you get like two pops of like very, very, very light airtime. Uh, the hills going along Hollywood Boulevard are pretty standard B&M, like weak, but still good, good floater airtime. Those are like the standard airtime hills. But yeah, so it looks like you like when you cr start cresting over, that's where you get air, and then you go over, you don't get any air, and then you get air again going down. So these are my two rides, one on backdrop in the second row, and one on regular Hollywood Dream in the first row. Um, I really want to try getting a back row, <laughs> but unfortunately, they don't take requests for rows. Uh, anyway, the park closes in 30 minutes. I might get my own boat on Jaws. This is awesome. Also, the queue video is different in Florida. Man, do I love Jaws. Oh, it's really takes me back to the when it had the one in Florida. So I remember like every time I would come uh, during uh, the last day of operation in Florida for Jaws, I got like seven rides in. So I got to the point where like I knew I memorized the um, the script and everything because <laughs> I've watched it so I, you know I wrote it so many times. I've kind of forgotten it by now, but still, like I'm like it, they're saying Japanese, and I'm like you know call off the Marines because we're coming home. And you're just quoting the you know the English version of the lines, you know I mean like shark bait or like ten minutes. We'll be shark bait in ten minutes. Ah, such a great ride. I love it. And this thing better not leave. This thing needs to stay forever, because I love it. Anyway, uh, it's 15 minutes till the park closes. I'm debating if I should go shopping, because I'm afraid, I'm worried they might close the gift shops. Or see if I can get a regular Hollywood dream ride in. <laughs> decisions, decisions, we'll see. But overall, yeah, the park is great. Uh, the team members here are extremely friendly, uh, very helpful. They try to help you out as much as they can. Uh, very like Tokyo Disney's resorts team mem uh, cast members. It's just been a while since I've been to a park in Japan where I had that level of service and friendliness. <laughs> and it's always so fun. Like they, they do like a lot of times they just go above and beyond. Like uh, the guy who checked me into my reservation time for uh, Super Nintendo World. Like he got like me and another group to go. Let's go. You know, like like Mar like Mario. You know, with one hand up in in the sky, right before he let us in. <laughs> Those little fun little things like that. Oh, also, I forgot. Really good head chopper right here as you're coming in. Looks like you're to smack the bottom of that uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the track. Oh, and I don't remember uh, if I mentioned this, but uh, on Hollywood Dream, I got they have a special song uh, songs. So for backdrop, we got. Uh, a, uh, for backdrop, one of the special songs is a Jujutsu Kaisen song, and it's the uh, OP, which is basically the opening for uh, the show. So that was fun to listen to. And then this, uh, for a regular Hollywood Dream, they have a uh, uh, what's it called? A Jujutsu Kaisen song, where you hear the char the characters. I think they're on the ride with you, so you hear them like saying things as you're riding. Which is pretty pretty cool, but not. I think the regular backdrop is better because it's like the the OP you're listening to, like what you've listened to on the in the show, you know. But the the regular one's kind of weird because like I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> you know, like when we're around the helix, the characters were all screaming, but it was fun though. Okay, so it is a little bit less than 15 minutes before closing, and it looks like Hollywood Dream is closed. So they do close their uh, lines early here, but I'm not sure if it goes for all the rides. I'm assuming it's just like the big rides like this, like Hollywood Dream and maybe like uh, Flying Dinosaur. But like Jaws probably will let people in since it's basically a walk-on, you know. Anyway, it's time to head out, maybe do some shopping and head out. So that about does it for Universal Japan. It's starting to rain a bit harder now. 
I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I did. I am glad I split this up into two days. I was able to uh, really take my time here. Take my time here and not rush too much. And really enjoy it here. Uh, that's why two days is great. And especially I have a uh, express on both of those days. That helps even more. And makes me enjoy the park a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, this park is great. I, I absolutely love it. Can't wait to come back for tomorrow, but it's going to be raining. So it won't be as good. I feel like I'm going to get a lot more Jaws rides. <laughs> so what I need to do for tomorrow... Uh, I got all the outdoor rides that I wanted done. So that's nice. Uh, but yeah, probably like the dark rides. And that's about it. I think the main things I want to do is the, the Jujutsu Kaisen, 4D Cinema, and Mario Kart. Everything else is pretty secondary. Uh, that I can think of right now. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's about it. See you tomorrow. Well, I'm back for Universal Round 2. I also love how they have 7-Elevens uh, and like Lawson's in their City Walk. Also, I was walking around City Walk last night after the park closed and this place was popping. There are so many really good restaurants. Like they had one area that was like five restaurants that was all like takoyakis. And I was like, holy crap, all next to each other. <laughs> that was insane. Really cool. But yeah, right now it's a light rain. So if this was Disney, they would operate their outdoor rides in this type of rain. So we'll see if the big rides are open, like Flying Dino or back Backdrop. Hello, Universal Arches. We meet again. Now, I don't know if any like outdoor shows will be running, like the parade and all that. So I, if I have time, I would like to see the parade again. That was a lot of fun. So this seems pretty standard in Japan because uh, I noticed this in Tokyo Disney Resort. But if the team members or cast members aren't doing anything, they just sit there and wave. It's kind of awkward but fun at the same time. So like when you when they catch your uh, attention. Like when they make eye contact, it gets awkward and you're kind of obligated to wave back. It's actually kind of funny. But like, literally, no one's paying attention to them. But it's a lot of fun. Their arms gotta be so tired right now. But yeah, here I am for the rope drop crowd. Uh, I did see Hollywood Dream testing, so that's a good sign. So, one thing I do wish that they did that the Orlando parks do is move their security back. So, right now, their security is right at the ticket turnstiles so that's what's really i think that's what's really holding everyone up uh if they move security like by the uh the universal arches that would really like make things way quicker here so that's their issue with uh, their throughput at the main entrance but that would also cause city walk to really back up though but if they actually started letting people in earlier City Walk won't be as backed up. Because there's like... I'm not sure, yeah, there's like... It's not like a steady stream of people going in to do the tickets. And we have officially made it to round two of Universal. Hollywood Dream is operating right now. Looks like they're running a half train. Or people are just aren't going up to it. I love all the team members waving. Wow, that New York facade does not look good with, with that bridge behind it. It's really uh, killing the force perspective. Anyway, try, time to try to get backdrop. But I have a feeling it's going to be a long wait because it's only one train running backdrop while the other three are forwards. Man, you can see the line for uh, the Pokemon snacks is crazy right now. It's probably longer than backdrop. Okay, backdrop is a 15 minute wait. I'm gonna try it. Yes, yes, yes. 15 minute backdrop. Awesome. Okay, 15 minute posted, so hopefully I can knock this out and then run over to uh, Super Nintendo World before they start. Uh, requiring timed entry tickets. Oh, this is where the Conan experience is? So the Conan experience is a uh, 
uh, what's it called? Uh, Conan experiences a uh, Conan experience is basically a VR ride or a VR game. I didn't realize it was here. Or maybe it's not. I don't see where it goes. Where it would go. But yeah. Also, I love it. One funny thing is in a Super Nintendo world, when I'm inside the uh, in the land, they have these like, I guess the fire uh, alarms that you pull that are lit up in red so every time i see one i always think that it might be like a uh, punch block you know like something to tap your uh your band to to get a uh what's it called coins to get coins also one thing i don't like about this place uh their toilets here they are uh regular like um, regular toilets the american toilets are not like that oh i mean uh the toilets in uh So the toilets in uh, Disney Sea in Tokyo Disneyland are uh, what's it called? They are uh, like kind of the Japanese toilets. While here they're just regular toilets. No Japanese toilets here. Or no bidet, which kind of sucks. Because bidets are incredible. I have a feeling this might be more than 15 minutes, but we'll see. Actually, though, no, uh, backdrop I had a uh, half train, so. Okay, once I do this, go straight over. So this is where they uh, check to make sure you put all your loose articles away. And they give you basically uh, pouches, like baskets to put everything away. But you can just throw it all in your backpack, might be fine. Alright, just got off of a ride on backdrop, or two actually. So what happened? Uh, the first ride I went on, I was in the second to last row. Incredible. Uh, it's so much fun. Uh, back, I think backdrop is probably my favorite coaster here, <laughs> over flying dinosaur. Um, the airtime is not great. Like this, if this was forwards, this would probably be like the worst, like being in hyper model, even though it's not really a hyper coaster. Like it's just pretty, not too forceful, but it's still fun though. But when you, once you add that backdrop element, you're not expecting any forces. Like they just come out of nowhere. You know, it's just so much fun going backwards because you don't know like what, what like when, when the hills come, when the airtime hits. So it just comes out of nowhere. But yeah, it is so much fun. I absolutely love it. Now I need to see if they're doing time tickets. I better play it safe and try to see if I can get a timed entry for Nintendo World instead of going over there to see if they're doing it. So I got the earliest time to go back right now, but I'm gonna go check to see if they're uh, doing uh, any timed entry right now. Cause I do know uh, if you come here early enough, they don't they don't do uh, timed entry. You just come in, just go walk into the land. So I'm not sure if that's still the case right now. Anyway. Let me head over there and see what it's like. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> uh, for uh, Hollywood Dream and Backdrop, it's weird how you pick your song. So on the screen, like, so there is no screen to pick your song. You actually have the five numbers and two buttons. So one button is a cycle through button. So it's kind of like you push it to go down, down, down to, you know, whatever button, uh, whatever uh, number you want, it will be highlighted. So it's like the highlight goes, you know, the, the light for the number to go down, down, down. And the second one is to select it. So that's how you select your song on it. So it's not very like if you if you have like express and you didn't really pay attention or don't have time to really look at the uh, don't have time to look at the thing. <clears throat> uh, don't have time to actually look at the video. It's not very intuitive. But yeah, very very fun ride. I absolutely love backdrop. So much fun. Anyway, so let's see if I can get into that right now. Because I do have a Jujutsu Kaisen uh, 40 theater um, express time. And that's at like 10 something. Uh, so if my entry time for uh, Super Nintendo World is at 9, I might be able to get like one Mario Kart ride in. But if I can go in now, I might be able to get speed too. Because it's like 8.30 right now. So we'll see. Oh yeah, I don't know if I actually said how I got the, my second ride on Hollywood Dream Backdrop. Uh, back, so what happened was my first ride, the audio wasn't working. It just, uh, okay, it looks like they're, it looks like they were uh, not working. Let me see. Okay, so it looks like, looks like they are uh, 
doing timed entry right now. So it's 8 o'clock. Or no, 8.30 technically. So uh, let me go see what flying dinosaur is like. Uh, maybe I could do a singles for that. I do have a couple minutes before my timed entry. And then I do want to uh, see if I can get a uh, reservation for uh, the Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen restaurant. I haven't seen Flying Dinosaur running. They might not be operating right now. So if that's the case, I'm going to head straight over to the Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen restaurant and get a reservation for like a late lunch. Because <laughs> it sucks because my Harry Potter uh, uh, Express is all during like lunchtime, like 12 through 1. So my best bet for getting lunch It'll probably be like at 2, 2 p.m. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Flying Dinosaur is down right now. Oh yeah, so I don't remember if I mentioned how I... Oh, Flying Dinosaur is running. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned how I got my uh, second ride on backdrop. So what happened is my first ride, the audio wasn't working. Uh, up the... Lift to, like basically for the first half of the ride up until the uh, block break, the mid course block break. Then it started working, like started from the beginning of the song. So it was really weird. Uh, when I got off, I told the uh, the ride up what happened, and he was like, "Okay, I'll get you on a second ride." And I'm like, "Oh, cool." But yeah, it's definitely a back row ride for sure. So much fun. The airtime isn't very strong, but it's just fun, you know. Okay, 20 minute singles. I'm gonna try singles. Of regular. All right, just got off of two back-to-back -back flying dinosaur rides. Um, singles is basically a walk-on uh, when I went. Uh, so right now it looks like regular weight is 30 minutes and singles is 20. So they're doing their thing right now where it's, they're only running three trains, and the issue is most BM flyers you load from the outside and then you go in. So the trains, when they come into the station, it doesn't matter which station they go because they have dual stations. So the issue here is that because they load on the inside, the bags everyone puts... They, everyone puts their bags on the outside. So when you come back into the station, the trains have to go to the same spot that they were. And because they're running three trains, they have this issue where that one train that's using one station has to go back to that one train, that one station. So then that basically causes a backup. So the two trains that share one station, if the st train in front hasn't dispatched yet, it leaves that second train to sit on the brake run, even though one train is empty, well, one station is completely, one station is completely empty. So sometimes you're just sitting on the brake run. And so like. That happened last time, so when the third train came and hit the brake run, it hit hard. And I was on that third train that was in the own station, basically. Also, after the pretzel loop, there is a big jolt, like, right where it is now. Right before the, uh, sorry, before the pretzel loop. So, like, right here, right above the restaurant here, the Lost World restaurant. There's a big jolt here, like, it's like a pothole you hit. That is not very nice. Other than that, it's a good coaster, but I can't marathon this thing. It's intense. That's why I prefer uh, Hollywood Dream and especially Backdrop, uh, backdrop more. Anyway, uh, now it's time for my reservation for uh, Super Nintendo World. So I'm going to head over there now. I did notice the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, restaurant is open. I think they're doing like walk-up, so everyone was like line lining up for it. But I think at 2 p.m., it should be a bit easier to get like a, a table there at that time. Right now it's like it just opened so there's a lot of people waiting for that restaurant. So we'll see. Anyway, let's head to Super Nintendo World. It is funny uh, when you're walking on this path to go to Super Nintendo World, hearing the jar stuff going on in the back with Super Nintendo music. So you hear like the explosions and the sharks going on over there and then like super happy. Mario music. I love it. Oh, one additional thing I forgot to mention about Flying Dinosaur uh, that I like. Uh, right, there, they've mounted cameras on the outside, uh, underneath the trains, but like on the station. So you can see when it's going into the flying position, you can see if there's anything wrong. Instead of like, people in Six Flags where they have to like bend down and see 
if all the roads are fine. Nope. Got my nine o'clock. Good to go. This one? This one. Okay. Okay. Let's go. 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 <laughs> These are all the power-up bands, and that's a special edition one on the left. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if the second stall over here is open. It usually has a less, a, lot, a shorter wait. So this stall, uh, I noticed at night, it does close early. So everyone here is waiting for uh, the photo opportunity. Let's go! <laughs> um, the photo opportunity. So it looks like the line for this stall for power up bands is long. So, but in reality, it's not that long at all. It's a little hack. But yeah, this stall does close early. I noticed that like maybe six, I think I was here last time, last night, that it was already closed. This place never gets old. That's all. They look incredible. With their Luigi cosplay costumes. That looks insane. I love it. I can't wait till this. We actually get uh, Florida's open. Everyone could cosplay. Never gets old. I think if you like stand here in uh, Mario 64, you get a star. This view reveal never gets old. I am curious uh, if uh, Epic Universe will be this layered with like multiple levels. Or will it be more like Hollywood, where it's all flat? But wow. I do have another time to come back for my uh, express. So. And I think it's later at night, so I get to see uh, this place during the day and at night. And hopefully I can try to get a meal at uh, Knopfiel's Cafe or Cold Steel Cafe, as we call it in the United States. I also need to do some of these games too. I don't know if I could do the Piranha Plant game, because it's a bunch of like... It's a bunch of like... Uh, uh, it's a bunch of like clocks that you have to run around. It'd be tough to do for one person. And apparently... Uh, Hollywood does not have the music block. Oh! Another hack. Get your power up band here. There's no one there. Right next to uh, Koopa's Challenge or Bal uh, Barrier Park. Bowser's Challenge. So for... Uh, oh. Got the arrows. So for uh, Bowser's challenge or uh, Koopa challenge, the Mario Kart ride, they have a uh, single rider line. But the issue with the singles ride is that you skip the pre-show, so they don't really tell you how to use the AR goggles and what, how to do it. Well, that's funny. Uh, Mario and Luigi are since it's raining, they're not in their normal spot. Uh, for photos since there's no cover. So right now uh, there are all, all over there, which means you go to their area and get the uh, coin without waiting to uh, meet them. I never realized how giant the Toadstool Cafe mushroom is. 
So, I'm gonna, I need to decide what I wanna do. If I wanna do uh, singles or standby. Because singles, you miss the pre-show. And basically get on the ride. So I do have Express, so I will experience the pre-show. But now I'm wondering if I should get two rides in or one. I'll get two. Have my first ride have a pre-show. Now I'll do singles. Hello, single rider? Yeah. Let's go! I'm missing majority of the queue. I don't know where I'm going. Oh wow. So we got Team Mario and Team Koopa way down there. This is awesome. I do wish that conveyor belt in the back of it was moving. That would've been cool. This is very different. I was not expecting to go like the level change going up and down in the queue. Man, this is heck. Like a wet oil machine. Alright, Mario Kart is really fun. Uh, it did take a moment, a little bit to get the hang of it. So when you first get on, you uh, you can tap your uh, power up band, but it's kind of hard to tell if it's ready or not. So it's hard to tell if you have a tap your power up band or not to get the coins. So basically, uh, when you sit down, you can tap your band, and then you attach the visor to, you know I mean, the, uh, the glass to the visor you're wearing. And it's like, almost like a magnet. It kind of like, clicks in place. Um, so after you put that on, uh, it's AR, you're shooting. So you have a steering wheel, uh, and they have like, basically these indication indicators where like, turn right, turn left, get coins that way. Uh, after that, you go, oh, this is cool. They have a <laughs> umbrella storage. That's kind of neat. Uh, then after that, uh, you turn right and left, and then wherever you're aiming at, wherever you're looking, is where you're aiming. So when you click where the thumbsticks are, there's one on the other side. If you click them both at the same time, you shoot a shell. And you get a set number of shells, uh, because you, like, everyone hits the same, uh, cushion blocks. But yeah, lots of fun. So you're basically getting points, shooting people, like, shooting the enemies, and turning correctly. When you're supposed to turn. That's pretty much how you got points. I think I got the highest in the car at least. I got, I got like 160 something coins. But yeah, very fun, very fun. I need to do it again. Oh yeah, in singles, pretty much ended up being like a 30 minute wait. It was pretty accurate. Sounds nice. So I'm waiting for my second ride, and this is what the visor basically looks like. So one issue I have is that the areas like here and here, uh, basically the temples, they push, they push up against my temples. Well, so like after I got off it, my temples kind of hurt. But it wasn't terrible though. It's still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this ride. But because of the temple issue, I don't know if I could like keep marathoning it. But I am this time. So this is a longer single rider wait than last time, so I don't 
this might be over 30 minute wait for me. All right, on my second Mario Kart ride, I got 158 coins. Dang, someone got like 300 something coins. That's like the highest score. That's crazy. So uh, my uh, first score, I got uh, 100, uh, 160 something. And my second one, I did worse, unfortunately. Dang, oh, these are cool. These ponchos, I love it. That's incredible. These ponchos are the best. They actually look like people that work here. Anyway, I'm gonna go and see if I can get a uh, Jujutsu Kaisen reservation first, and then head over to my uh, Jujutsu Kaisen uh, uh, 4D show. I gotta say, this place is mobbed right now. It's like, this place is gonna be so bad when Epic opens. It's just crazy here. So yeah, I'm satisfied with my two rides and I get one more ride later before I head out with my express. Let's head back out through the tunnel. Music, oh, it's so happy and cheerful. I love it. This song is so catchy. I love it. This is a bathroom in Universal Studios Florida, and there's a bathroom here. One of the benefits of uh, being familiar with Universal Florida. It's a sum somewhat similar, similar layout. All right, got my uh, priority seating for uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen show or the uh, restaurant. And now I'm heading to my uh, Jujutsu Kaisen 4D experience with Express. Man, it really kills me. I really want to do this. But I don't know Japanese. Gosh. I am kind of tempted to be like, ask a random stranger going in there and be like, can I join you? But they may not know the Japanese either. Anyway. Off to that. Spider-Man over here. It's okay, so from what I've done so far, I've done everything except for from what I can think of. The Jiu-Jitsu guys in 4D show. Spider-Man and Despicable Me, which we have both of those in Florida. I think my favorite ride is still Jaws. <laughs> yeah, I think my, uh, cause like, Jujutsu Kaisen is just a regular 4D show. I don't know if it'd be that good. Uh, you know, we have the other two rides in Florida, so I know what to expect from them. And yeah, I think it's Jaws. It's just fun, like the, the team members are a lot of fun in Jaws. They're very very funny <laughs> and uh have a lot of enthusiasm when riding uh, when uh, pi uh driving the boat but yeah oh i'm actually i doubt it but i wonder if they have like the twister uh, oh, uh nods down there like they do in uh florida it's doubtful though because they don't have a twister right here But yeah, anyway, off to Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know what's down there. Like, there's a lot of people like down there and they have like the queue set up. I don't know what the queue's for. <laughs> That's that smoking area, maybe. Don't know. 
That was neat. Right after the Jujutsu Kaisen show ended, the screen raised and now we're just walking to the screen. That's really cool. I was not expecting that at all. Very cool. So this is basically like a 3D anime a battle that you're watching. And you can tell that this used to be the Shrek Theater. The seats and everything. Great ride. Very cool. Now we see all the characters from the show enjoying Universal Japan. That's hilarious. Okay, I wanted to get a snack, but before my uh, express for uh, what's it called starts, uh, Forbidden Journey starts, but I saw that the Curious George show was about to start in a couple minutes, so I was like, yeah, I might as well get this out of the way because I don't know when, how often this thing runs. But this is basically, I think this is a Musion like show. So you have like a Curious George as a Musion effect and like an actual actor in the back over there. If I remember, I've seen a video of this, I think. If this is correct, maybe, I don't know. But apparently filming is okay in here, so I can bring you along with me. But while we wait for this, let me give you my thoughts on uh, the, the, the Jujutsu Kaisen show. Um, it was fun. It was basically like watching a 15, I don't know how long it was, maybe like 10, 15 minute anime battle in seats that move with uh, wind effects and uh, whip effects on your feet, you know, where they whip your legs. Um, it kind of started out, I, I didn't, I couldn't really understand what was going on, but I knew kind of the overall arcing story. Especially watching the show really does help. Uh, knowing about cursed spirits and like who those characters are. I didn't understand. I don't recognize the bad guy. He's like some big guy. But he basically, I think he was opening something like maybe a new branch in either Osaka or Tokyo, I'm not sure, of a new jujitsu high school. Show, uh, school. And I guess he was bad. I don't know. <laughs> and eventually, um, the gang started fighting him and uh, then we went down, we, we sunk down below and then like this uh, cursed spirit was underground, on, underneath the ground, underneath the, what's it called, construction site and they were fighting the cursed spirit and the big bad guy and at the end uh, Gojo came in who is like probably one of the best jujitsu high school, like jujitsu guys or I think he was maybe a teacher, I don't remember he kind of saved the day and then teleported us, either teleported us or opened up a hole uh, to Universal and eventually like they all went to go play in Universal so right after the show ended the uh, screen raised and we walked through the screen so it's like we're going into Universal which is really cool um, and then as you're going through the exit you can see like the characters like enjoying their day at Universal which is pretty funny that was awesome but yeah I enjoyed the show especially definitely knowing what is kind of sort of going on it does help but yeah, and definitely watching the show, so I'm familiar with the characters and everything. Ha <laughs> ha 
ジョジあら何じゃ待てジョジそれはつけちゃいやつけちゃったああほらすごい風レミナそっちは大丈夫
don't know who these guys are. Hello. Wow, I didn't realize how much stuff happens here like during the daytime. This is so cool. It's just like all these character palooza. So I think those might have been the singers from uh, one of the shows. But I'm not sure. I don't know who those people are. <laughs> For one of the uh, No Limit shows, so you could like take photos with them, I guess. Very interesting. Oh wow, it's like no wait for Woody Woodpecker. Let's see what the Hollywood Dream wait are. So regular is 40 minutes. Backdrop, I can't tell. Is it down? Okay, singles is 40 minutes. Backdrop is 60. That's not bad at all. Pokemon uh, stand isn't too busy either. Yeah, really, not too busy today. The rain probably scared a lot of people away. Still looks great despite all the umbrellas blocking your view. Florida's doing that. That's really cool. You have like a little thing that comes up on the like a cuckoo clock almost. That's awesome. We don't have that. It's funny hearing all the squeaking shoes from the cobblestone. Hilarious. So the layout of this Hogwarts compared to Florida's is different. I don't know where standby heads in, but it goes standby goes that way. But I'm not sure when it comes up to the. Oh, there are no lockers here. So this is very different. Wow, this is so different. We're going down. So this is the express line. So in Florida, the original was express and everyone just went down here. Then they put lockers outside. So I'm not sure what happened. Where the lockers here? But this is, uh, you know, newer. So they learned from their mistakes. Okay, so I think this is the normal queue coming in now. I don't know when. This is weird. Maybe there's another express line up ahead? I don't know. So, uh, Forbidden Journey. It was weird. Their layout. So, I guess most of the standby line is outside, which kind of stinks. I don't, I don't know what it looks like, but... Um, once you go in, you hit the lockers, and then you take the express route. The express line in Florida's version of the express line in the castle. So they have so much queue inside the castle that's all that was supposed to be for standby that's all being unused. You know, it was weird. Um, but yeah. So as for the ride itself, uh, there are some changes in there. Um, one, their voices are dubbed in Japanese, so their lips were not in sync with what they're what's what's being said because they still have the English. Uh, uh, what's it called? Film. So that was kind of funny. Um, especially, you could really tell in the queue, more so than the ride. Um, the Whomping Willow scene, you get really close to the Whomping Willow here as opposed to in Florida. Like, I almost felt like I was gonna hit it. Um, there's one scene right after Hermione, after, right after Hermione says, um, cast a spell for the lightning and thunder. And uh, between that and the Wobbling Willow scene, you actually see like shadows of spiders, which is really cool. That wasn't in, in Florida's version. Um, also, it's funny because the dub, 
it all sounds like anime characters. They all have like, it's like, you know, anime Harry Potter, you know. I also, uh, at the Dementor scene, I don't remember if Florida's, you can see their giant hands. So the, the Dementors have like giant hands here, but I'm not, I can't recall if they had them in Florida. Um, the Basilisk skull, I mean a skeleton, um, the smoke is a lot quieter. In uh, Florida, it's just like, <laughs> this one you barely hear any of it. Also, uh, they uh, it, towards they replaced that it, the last scene with the Dementors. So there's a scene in Florida where it's a smoke effect and they project your faces on it. That has been replaced here with a scene with uh, multiple like static Dementors all like above you. So that was a nice change because like one in Florida like almost never works. But yeah, other than those, that's all I could remember that was different from the original. But overall, good ride. I like it better than the Florida overall. But I don't like the queue layout of this one because there's just so much unused queue and like because it's all unused and you're going through the fast path, the express line. Uh, in Florida's version, you're just blazing through these, the, like the rumor requirement. You're blazing through Dumbledore's office that you don't really have time to hear what they're saying, you know, which is a shame. Because those are really cool rooms. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good in here. So this is the uh, Jiu-Jitsu High School or Jiu-Jitsu uh, Kaizen uh, restaurant. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah? oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Hello. Okay, okay, perfect. Cool. It's so cool. She could take a picture of the Gojo. I'm in line right now. So cool. So my drink just arrived. And this is like some lemonade drink. And oh, it's so good. I just wish there was more of it. And it came with a surprise coaster. You don't know what you're gonna get. It's awesome. This is my lunch. Holy crap, this looks incredible. Also, one thing I have to uh, ding them on is uh, the bubble, the bobas inside that drink is kind of stale. Not very good. It was, it's not fresh. But this looks incredible. Oh my god. And look, the theming of the restaurant looks incredible here. This looks like the perfect meal. All right, I caved and got the violet soda. This thing looks pretty good. Hopefully, it was a, it's not like, hopefully it'll be flawless, like, unlike this one. If the bubbles were fresh, it would've been good. But it's still good. But this looks great. The violet soda. This is a green tea dessert. This looks incredible. Oh, cause I am a sucker for green tea. Okay, so that might've been one of the best theme park meals I've ever had. It was so good. Oh my gosh. Crap, I gotta try this too. I need to try the Minion food, the uh, banana or whatever sandwich. They have a banana one. I think they have a matcha one or a... If they do, I'll take that, but I don't see it on the menu. Yeah, so the only downside to the Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen uh, restaurant was that it was very... the uh, my bubble my boba for the, uh, what's it called? That one drink was a little stale. Anyway, I need to try this now before it, just in case it closes. The minion cookie sandwich right here is really good. So I'm gonna try that. Ooh, they have an Easter version that looks pretty good too. But I think I'm gonna do the cookie sandwich with ice cream. I'm feeling some more ice cream. And then I also need to try like a couple more desserts before the night is over. Yeah, they are making it. Well, they were making it. Oh, that's okay too. 
I love the audio. All right, looks like somebody wants something over there. But I got a uh, minion ice cream sandwich. It's banana flavored. I think there's real banana in there. But this looks so good. Getting it right in front of the minion area. Hotel Parena in Villains HQ. This looks awesome. All right, let's go walk around the minions area. I also love the music they're playing here. It's a minion singing. <laughs> this song. So this is the um, freezeway freeze ray sliders. It's basically like a <clears throat> sort of teacups like ride, but more like maters. Jug our jam breed by spin. And it's like a more like a what's it called? That one ride in uh Walt Disney Studios Paris. But it's cool, this is a cool concept because it's like Gru use his freezeway to freeze the entire uh, to freeze the fountain and then you're just kind of like hanging around playing around with the minions on the, fla the fountain <clears throat> i love it so supposedly you could like lock on these doors or something like that and stuff happens bow down <clears throat> yeah this minions area is crazy how they have just have this giant min minion land i'm hoping uh, i do hope that uh florida's is like this when ours opens, but I, it's doubtful. Not with this much detail everywhere. So that was basically a Minion Mayhem, but in the, what's it called? Uh, Back to the Future ride system. Even not like that. <laughs> that was weird. Very interesting. Um, there were a couple of differences. There's one Right when you, so in Back to the Future slash Simpsons, you go up into the dome area. So this one, they have an extra little scene that uh, Florida doesn't have, where you're actually going up, rising up, and then you go into that first scene. This is like a split second kind of thing. And also they have one where you're going down, right before you go down. Um, the ride system wasn't as good, obviously, because it's an older technology. Uh, Back to the Future technology, as opposed to like Jimmy Neutron technology. Um, it had, uh, Florida's, you could actually feel like the rumbling when you're on top of all the minions, like when they form like a hand or whatever. Uh, this one, it's, I guess the technology kind of sucks, so they can't really form, do the rumbling motion. Um, but one thing I like about this one is that it is more isolated. Like you do feel like you are in, you're by yourself, or at least with the people you're with in, in the car. As opposed to Florida, we can like look around, you can see like everyone in the theater. This one, they have uh, your basically Back to the Future cars have walls to more isolate you so you can't really see the other cars around. So that's one thing I do to give that this one does better. But because it's like in a dome, um, it, the, the, uh, the image does look a little like blurry. You know, it's not as sharp as Florida's version. So yeah. There's so much detail going on. Like, what the heck is this? The Bank of Evil? <laughs> That's funny, you can actually see like what each of the uh, evil people's like bank account has. That's hilarious. Okay, that was funny. Uh, in the restrooms in the Minions area, the audio is basically like Minions making fart noises <laughs> and laughing and everything. That's pretty funny. Also, I am so glad I bought my, uh, what's it called? ice cream cookie sandwich when I did because they are closed now so it looks like they close at five I'm glad I did that I guess this, they're doing like a minions thing they're about to come out maybe which is weird because last time I saw they were hiding underneath that the covered area so it might be maybe since it's not raining they're gonna come out here instead man I really want to go back to the <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen uh, Jujutsu Kaisen restaurant again <laughs> that was really good. I want to try like some of the other main courses. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll go to Spider-Man. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so far this park is... I love it. It's just so chill. Having a blast here. Definitely two days is the w way to go. 
Um, especially in the two days with Express is even better. But like definitely two days, it really, really helps. And I just love how it's just like similar but different at the same time compared to Florida. Like, you, like you, if you know where like to look in Florida, you have a general idea. So the, lay, the park layout is basically like Florida's with like extra branches poking out like, you know, one towards like Wizarding World and one towards like Super Nintendo World, you know. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna use my Express on Spider-Man. Then all I have left would be uh, the Mario ones, Express ones, and uh, what's it called? Backdraft, or not Backdraft. Uh, shoot, what's it called? Hollywood Dream. I do, want, I do want to do another Jaws ride as well. Whoa! Spider-Man here has dual loading stations. That's so weird. I had no idea. That's so cool. Okay, Spider-Man here is different. So, uh, first... They have uh, dual loading stations, which I had no idea. That shocked me. Um, what else was there? Oh, Stan Lee driving the garbage truck. He came flying out at us. Like, it wasn't like Florida's where he's just like, he moves like an inch and you're like, ah. Oh. This one, he's like, he has way more like, the garbage truck actually comes at you, which was awesome. I was like, whoa. Uh, also like the heat. Oh, I guess look like the, the parade happened. I remember hearing an uh, announcement that the parade was closed or was canceled maybe. But anyway, um, yeah, when uh, Do Dr. Octopus like threw his hand up and like flame came out, you actually feel that. So that was really cool. But yeah, that was that was awesome. Very good, very good ride. Still holds up. Also, they uh, they placed the uh, first the um, Statue of Liberty head when uh, Dr. Octopus shoots that to levitate it. It was glowing, like really green compared to like Florida's, which isn't like that. Ooh, look at that donk. Look at that. Look at that dump. Anyway, um, they, uh, yeah, and there's a, a bigger heat effect than Florida's. I realize I've been to this park for like over a day and a half and I still haven't been to this area. <laughs> So this is the Snoopy slash um, Sesame Street area. Oh, Hello Kitty, Snoopy, yeah, Sesame Street. This is their kids area. Oh, it looks like they had the Snoopy, the Peanuts characters are out. We got an Easter spaghetti set right here. That looks awesome. Here's a Snoopy Dumbo ride. <laughs> well, they have a lot of churros here. Like almost every stand. Right? Uh, little teacups like ride. Some music. Got Hello Kitty doing meet and greets out here. <laughs> this actually looks awesome. And this music is awesome too. Oh, this place feels busier than some of the other lands. I don't know what rainbow uh, ribbon connection is. Maybe that's a meet and greet area. There's like restrooms and maybe lockers down there? Shop over here. I think the shop is closed. I don't know why. It's still so busy here. This is the Sesame Street area. Oh, this building is cool. This is awesome. They have little kids driving school here. 
So they have a normal garden in school area. <laughs> but the kids one is still... This is hilarious. <laughs> like all the team members are there. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. I think it's hilarious. They probably have to wear the steel toe shoes. This is one of the best rides ever. That's hilarious. Oh, Moppy's balloon trip. So, uh, Moppy is supposedly a character created just for this park. So she's a totally original character. Uh, no, I don't think she's in anything else besides this park, which is actually really cool. So they do have a couple other attractions that are closed, like, for good. Or at least for the time being. And one of them is like that stuff over there, just like a slide area. And most go-go skateboard, that's awesome. Oh, there's a single rider line for this, interesting. I wonder what's down here, it might be the exit. That's so cool. This is a cool ride vehicle. Almost, boys. Almost Japanese voice is the best. Oh, I love the team members' hats. They're awesome. Ready to watch it? And we'll do some uh, sick tricks. Just tear up this half pipe. Do some shredding. Looks like uh, Elmo's regular. Instead of Goofy. No wait, he's Goofy. No, he's regular. Never mind. That is awesome. I love it. Oh, it's like the Sesame Street characters are- Whoa, that's a cool balloon! Where did she get that balloon? That was actually a really cool uh, Spy X Family cosplay just now. Let's go into this Elmo's Imagination Playground and see what it is. But I feel like it's just a playground. Whoa, this place is huge. Definitely not expecting this place to be this big. Wow. Whoa. That's so cool. And I love the characters. Wow, there's so much going on right now. Hey, this looks awesome. This little mini mine. Uh, Lock Flume. It's so freaking adorable. I guess there's a show over here. Oh, it's like a, a moppy, whatever. Like this jungle gym area is closed. Whoa, that's cool. They got to climb in there. Plumes like that. So there is an, uh, a little bit bigger version of this car ride, but I don't know where it is. It might be in the back, they might have, like, or maybe down there and they blocked it off. Because I saw it from uh, Hollywood uh, Dream. Or maybe it's back there and it's blocked off. Huh. Anyway, time to explore more of this park. Looks like they had a uh, virtual queue for uh, Flying Snoopy if it gets too busy. So this is uh, Snoopy Studios. Wow, these buildings are much bigger than I expected. Here, it's humongous. I was not expecting this place to be this big. That's awesome, you like, uh, got like a uh, place for cartoons. This place is awesome. That's Awesome. The doctor is in. So this is the 
coaster that they have that is currently standing but not operating. Which is a shame. But I think it's a pretty similar layout. Yeah. Similar layout to a uh, flying unicorn. Or I mean a uh, Hagrid. Uh, Hippogriff. Why are you jingle bell? But yeah. What's really cool about this ride is uh, that right in the middle, uh, Snoopy is the camera and he kind of follows the train around that he likes, which is a really cool effect. But it's a shame that thing, this thing is not operating. Whoa! This is awesome! Whoa! That is so cool! Look up here, it's like a playground. Okay, so this is like the exit to the, uh, the coaster. That's so cool. I would have loved to ride this thing. Oh, it looks like a school with some uh, interactive stuff here. <laughs> What's this? Oh, okay, so this looks like uh, you can uh, change the weather and stuff happens to the house. It's really cool. This place is really cool. <laughs> I love the movie posters here. That's cool. All right, for a little snack, I got the Jaws melon. I think this is melon soda flavored like cake. I hear good things about it. And I also got a melon soda here because uh, melon soda is really good. While I have the incredible view of the Jaws ride. Awesome. And also like Wizarding World way in the back over there. So I just marathon Jaws for like 30 minutes and got three rides in. Man, that single rider line is a godsend. Man. So single rider is really where it's at here. Except for maybe Flying Dino might be a bad one. And I haven't tried a Hollywood Dream single rider to see how that is. But all the other ones, like you know, Minion Mayhem, uh, uh, what's it called, a Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park ride. The single rider is where it's at. It's just like, you know, you'll be split up. But yeah, other than that, this, it's oh, incredible. I love the fact that Jaws has a single rider line. So I can just marathon it because it's one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite ride here. Because like, I don't remember, I don't think Jaws had a single rider line in Florida. I do remember my, the, on its last day of operation, I did ride it like seven times. But yeah. Also my last skipper was incredible. He was like, super into it you know i've never seen a skipper like that here before you know a lot of them were like pretty standard but that that guy he was all into it he was giving like 110 percent but yeah awesome anyway i'm gonna use my express on uh, uh hollywood dream before my uh time for uh going into super nintendo world comes up in about 30 minutes i didn't want to risk getting another jaws ride and potentially Getting late for my uh, Super Nintendo World entrance, uh, uh, what's it called, reservation time. So I might as well get this out of the way. And if I have time, I'll do uh, Jaws on the way over to Super Nintendo World. If not, I'll do this. Man, it is super lively here. I 
wonder if they uh, block out the R and the B during Halloween Horror Nights and make it a male die-in like in Florida does. One of the more one of the more fun things to do while you're on backdrop is when you go up this lift hill, you're facing the ground, so everybody is uh, staring at you in front of the queue, waving at you, and you're waving back at them. It's actually really fun. So you're just waving at the queue as you're going up the lift hill. It's so much fun. <laughs> it was just fitting in warp pipes. I love it. Well, I mean, barely fitting in the warp pipes. Time for Super Nintendo World round two today. Round three total. Get enough of this land. I love the pigmen. They're dressed like pigmen. That's the best. Also, this guy over here, I think he's the one that's controlling what she says. But that's awesome. Just the best. Such a great character design. <laughs> the pigmen are freaking adorable. Oh my goodness. They look really sleepy. <laughs> so that right there, what you look through, basically augmented reality, where you look through and you see the actual real life, but they're more like, what's it called? Characters and stuff like that around. It's kind of neat.
ましたこれより次はスナークをすれば全員揃ってお進みくださいまもなく前方の扉が開きますそれでは列車会場へお進みください Alright, just got off my final ride on a. Hi. My final ride on a Mario Kart. And my、uh, score was 177 coins. That was probably the best I've ever done. Out of the three times? Yeah, three times I've done it. Fun, very fun ride. I really enjoy it. But that visor does hurt my temples when I ride it because it's so small. I like pinches my temples. I always think it's like a power up band thing. It gets me every time. I hate it. I hate it. Every time. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, something, something to tap my power up band to. Nothing. So here in Told Seal Cafe slash Canopios Cafe, I get to pick between a big present or small present. Which one? I'll do small. What did I get? Yeah, I got coins. I don't know what the acorn does, but that's awesome. I don't, know what a, well, I don't know what the acorn does though. I don't know what I want here. Shoot. I do know、uh, this is exclusive, I think, to Japan. I don't recall what that one was. That actually looks pretty good too. Dang. Maybe I should get two. Canopio's Cafe, it's Toadstool Cafe in、uh, Hollywood. I have gotten a,、uh, I guess it's a lemon squash drink. I, mean, I think it's like Superstar drink or something like that. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. And I got a bunch of other stuff that looks like I cannot get in、uh, Hollywood or at least probably in, when Epic opens. So we'll see. I also saw there was an、uh, ice cream that wasn't on the menu, like that was like being shown while you're in the line. 
but I was really tempted to get it, but I already ordered like four things, four items for one person, so I'm like, oh, that's gonna be so much food. You know, it was already like over 5,000 yen, so that's like a crazy amount of money for only one person. <laughs> At a fixed service. Anyway, I'm here. Don't know when I'll be back, so going all out for the food and everything. Okay, this is good. Um, it's very tart, though. Oh, I like the, I like this um, cup. I thought it'll say Universal Studios Japan, but it just says Universal Studios in uh, Super Nintendo World. But yeah, <clears throat> it is super tart. The jelly is really good. It tastes like almost like a mixed fruit jelly. Highly recommend. I think Hollywood has this, but I just wanted to try because I hear good things about it. One thing I didn't notice until just now are the windows all around that have like, you can see Toad doing stuff. Getting ready for uh, or a bunch of Toads. Getting our food ready over there. And so this is all in the backstage area, like, you know, meal prep. And then like behind me is all outdoor stuff. That's cool. All right, my feast has arrived. We got a pizza bowl over here. I think this is teriyaki chicken and uh, rice. And this is mountain bean pole, like a dessert. I look like and feel like a fatty, but I'm, at least I'm a fatty who is only here for a limited amount of time and doesn't come very often. So going all out, trying only exclusive to Japan stuff, except for that. I just, I, I just really wanted the, the flag, because you could keep the flag. And this is what the inside of the pizza looks like. I could break it, holy crap. Maybe I just pop it off? I don't know. It's not working. So there isn't that much in there. It's more, it's very hollow. But there it is. So this is basically it. <clears throat> Something's happening on the screen. Bowser's attacking. You see him on his airship shooting the... Uh, the toad. They're all freaking out. I love it. I had no idea this happens. This is hilarious. All the toads are like worried and sad. They're freaking out. Oh, that's so cool. A bullet bill just went through the kitchen. This is awesome. They're shooting, he's just shooting bullet bills everywhere. It's like flying all over the place, going into the kitchen. This is awesome. <laughs> I am so full right now. Oh my gosh. Wow, it is really dead. Where did everyone go? Jeez. Oh yeah, I am so full. Holy crap. Oh, Cold Steel Cafe is closed or Canopio's Cafe is closed. But that was so good. Oh, so, so good. Get some coins. Gotta do the music. Ah, all the way over here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh!
no idea what was going on. I think the two guys that are with me did all the work. So that was awesome. does it for me at Super Nintendo World. <clears throat> this place is awesome. I oh, I mean, it really opens up the land if you have a power-up van. So like, if you don't, there isn't too much for you to do outside of the two rides and eating and buying merch. So like, buy, getting a uh, power-up van really does help. So I do admit that that's one, one of the flaws of this land. Oh, at night, great time to take, get your photos because the line's very short. Goodbye, Super Nintendo World. Probably the next time I do this will be in, probably when Epic Universe opens in two years. Or next year, actually. No, two years, yeah. Interesting. There's no uh, team members out here, so it looks like within maybe the last hour, or at least 30 minutes. You can just walk in as you please instead of getting a, a, ret like a return time. Anyway, uh, park closes in 15 minutes. Uh, I think uh, backdrop is probably closed, have the line closed already, so I'm probably gonna go Marathon Jaws. I think it's very fitting that the very first ride I did when I came to this park is my favorite and it's also the very last ride I'm doing in this park. Very satisfied with closing with Jaws. And just like that, I finished with my favorite ride here in the park. I got five rides total today, which is pretty nice. So eight overall during my two days here. I am satisfied with that. So. Yeah, this park is incredible. Um, the team members are all great. Very, very enthusiastic. Very friendly. Very fun. Um, I, I also realized there's a lot of Cantonese people here. I know there's a lot of people speaking Cantonese here. But, you know, besides that. Um, Flying Dinosaur was good. Uh, I got a back row ride, which is row 8. A row 2 ride, and I think a row 5 ride. Um, Hollywood Dream. I got a... I think it's a, what was my last one I got? I think a row five ride and a front row ride on Hollywood Dream. Backdrop, I got a second to last row ride, a second to front row ride, and a row five ride. So I got a good variation of uh, the front and back in the middle of the, all the coasters here. So that's really nice. I like that. Anyway, great park. I love this. I, I would love to come back here. I wouldn't actually wouldn't mind if this was my home park too. Just to come back and chill is just so much to do. Like especially in a Super Nintendo world, I would go there and tap all the coins, you know, all the question blocks, do all the games. <clears throat> just so, such a great park. Very fun. I love it. Now, the question is, I cannot decide if I like this better or Tokyo Disneyland better. It's really tough. I definitely like the food here better than Tokyo Disneyland, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. It's tough, for, at least for me. I do love like Thunder Mountain, you know, the classics of Thunder Mountain, Space, Space Mountain. I love uh, Monsters, Inc. Ride and Go Seek. That's an awesome ride. I love the canoes over there. But here I love Backdrop. I love uh, Jaws. Their parade is awesome. <clears throat> uh, but I'm not sure, I don't remember if this is their, if that parade is temporary or permanent. The No Limit Parade. But regardless, it's a great parade. Uh, Waterworld's great, my first time seeing that. I can see why they <laughs> clone in every Universal Park but Florida. 
uh, yeah, just a great, great place. I like the Curious George attraction. That was that was cute and fun. Um, Jaws, you know, what I love about Jaws is that it has a single rider line, so I could just keep marathoning that over and over again because the single rider line is pretty usually pretty short. Now that it's starting to rain a little bit harder, this cover is a godsend. <laughs> oh, I love it here. I wish more parks had like covers like this, like especially in Florida, it rains like all the time over there. And just like that, my time here at Universal Studios Japan has come to an end. This place is incredible. I, uh, I love it. One of my favorite parts. The team members through the roof. They are always so friendly, so fun to talk to. Uh, they're willing to uh, help you out any, any way they can. But yeah, I'm gonna miss this place. I I need to come back, especially after Donkey Kong opens. This place is awesome. I, I had a blast here. Definitely one of my favorite parks. Bye, I got the Kazaimas. Anyway, I'm super sleepy too. I haven't had a good night's sleep in like over a week. <clears throat> Probably like a week and a half. Oh, that's awesome. Like a little bit light. At first, I wasn't a fan of the placement of this globe, but I kind of like it now, especially since it's like lined up perfectly with the park entrance. And with that, my time at Universal comes to an end. I am so sleep deprived right now. Oh, time to go. I might go to a park tomorrow. We'll see. It's a, a small little park between a Osaka and Kyoto, so. Anyway, later Universal. Awesome, awesome park. <laughs>